Welcome to Electra Online. In the previous video, you might have wondered why the potential errors in range could be so large. And yes, they could be that large. But in typical applications and with more modern satellites and with more, more modern equipment, we can do much better than that. So we had to adapt and we came up with what we call the URA NED0 index. Now, NED stands for Northeast Down. Zero is the first of the index, there's a URA NED1 index as well, but the URA NED0 index goes from zero all the way down to negative 16. It also takes the positive values, but we already saw what those equivalent indexes were equal to. Those have not changed. But now going in the other direction, the zero changed, and now we also have negative values by setting the most significant bit to a negative value. And then what we can do here is take a look at these and notice that those range, potential range errors really start diminishing. So here we're talking about less than a meter, 85 centimeters, all the way down to 11 centimeters, 4 centimeters, all the way down to potentially less than 1 centimeter initial error. So that's a URA. Now that then gets multiplied depending upon the value of the TLM bit. 23 being set to 0 or 1, that number then gets multiplied times 4.42 or 5.73 to get a first cut at a nominal error in the range. Now, instead of using the range right here, what we've also done is we have an equation where if n is less than or equal to 6, positive 6 down to smaller or negative numbers, we can calculate what we call the nominal URA NED0 index with taking two raised to the 1 plus n over 2 power. As an example, if n is equal to negative 4, notice that the range should be between 0.43 and 0.6, but it's better just to pick a particular value, and that's done by using this equation. Plug in a negative 4 for n, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, plus 1 gives you 2 to the minus 1, which is a 1 half or 0.5 meters. So the nominal value used if the index is equal to negative 4, would be 0.5, which is pretty well between 0.43 and 0.6. And so that's how all these nominal values are calculated for these very small potential range errors or initial estimates of range errors. So that's how we then obviously zoom in to much better accuracy using GPS.